The Canadian Food Inspection Agency is investigating avian flu outbreaks now at dozens of poultry farms in seven Canadian provinces. In Quebec's eastern townships, cases of the highly contagious H5N1 strain have now been detected at four farms just in the past week. Across Canada, nearly 700,000 chickens and other fowl have already died or have had to be euthanized. This year, exceptionally, the virus is also having an impact on wild birds. And Bonnie Allen explains that story. Biologist and bird photographer Paula Jertis captured this video on a recent road trip southeast of Regina. She was concerned when she saw dozens of sick geese jerking and flopping about, as well as 180 some dead birds in ditches and fields, mostly snow geese and owls. And there were carcasses all along and at first we thought well, perhaps they got poisoned and as we kept looking we found more in the fields and in various other places. And Jurdis called a conservation officer who collected carcasses to be tested for the avian influenza virus. The avian flu circulates almost every year but this strain known as H5N1 is especially severe. What we're typically getting into our lab currently is, is dead birds, which we're autopsying, and they have fairly dramatic lesions. Pathologist Dr. Trent Bollinger from the Western College of Veterinary Medicine has conducted 50 autopsies in wild birds so far. This isn't unique to Saskatchewan. All provinces uh, are experiencing the same influx of uh, birds to diagnostic labs and, and investigating die-offs similar to what we're seeing in Saskatchewan. Bollinger says the avian flu has proven deadly in commercial poultry farm operations, but that this level of mortality in wild birds is unusual. Waterfowl, raptors, scavengers have all been affected. He says it's too early to know what the impact could be on songbirds and other species. As a precaution, a wildlife health specialist from Saskatchewan's Ministry of Environment is recommending that people frequently disinfect their backyard bird feeders or remove them altogether. Now, the risk to humans is considered low. Still, as a precaution, if you come across a dead bird, don't touch it. And if you have to pick it up, remove it, wear a mask and gloves. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.